Warning. The content here has been rated MA18. Viewer discretion is advised. Enjoy the show my peeps. Like. Help me hit that like goal today and smash that like button. Today's like goal is 1-0. Sub. Thank you for hitting this month's sub goal of 670. You all rock. See you in April for 675. Wake up with Warpath, a warm cup of coffee, some fun laughs here at 7 a.m. Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. Good morning, emoji hot beverage, emoji smiling eyes.
Apes, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. It's Warpath Wednesday. What's up, my peeps? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. I hope you're having a good time. I hope the man and the woman ain't getting you down. Thank you for joining me over here. It's Warpath TV. It is I, Warpath. <coughs> Let me clear my throat. As the espresso kicks in. We're here to do the 9 for 9 daily grind here on Red Dead Online. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did. I'm uh, the native 1899 rapper here. Anyways, <clears throat> let me get everything dialed in. You know, I got to get everything dialed in here. Before we start the show. All right. Genie in the bottle is in the house. Good morning to you, milady. Good morning to you. Let's get right into it. We got to the daily or the weekly reset yesterday, so it's basically the same bullshit. It's it's blood money month. We really don't need to like really talk about it. It's it's whack. Uh, badgers, muskrats, featured series. We don't do featured series. Items to Gus. We could do that. Jump from one horse to another. We could probably do that. Visit Fort Mercer. Uh, they don't like natives in Fort Mercer. Lassoed from horseback. Complete a legendary or triple S bounty. Triple money. Triple money. More than one bounty at once. We could probably do all three of those. Actually, yeah. Um, we, we're really worried about Crips right now. Uh, we got to do a delivery before we do anything. So Crips is pretty much locked up. Trader's locked up. Collect a bow. Six collect a bows. Three from a non-player and three sold. We could do that. Bootleggers. Five minutes left. Play with the band. We could do that. Blending tonics. Craft. And then the dreaded don't kill an animal for 24 hours. So, first things first, let's just get this bullshit out the way. We'll take these two tonics. There's a one. You got cappuccino this morning. Uh, I don't have a cappuccino. I have the... Well, yeah. No, it's an espresso. It's like an espresso flavor or brand, I guess you could say. At first, I start with a Colombian mix. First thing in the morning, I got this little Colombian mix that I drink. And then I have a little bit of water. And then I break out the espresso stuff before the show. I get about two shots of that in me, and then I start the show, and then I sip it as the show goes on. That way I can maintain the high energy. Got to maintain that high energy flow, you know what I mean? Um, we're camped out here in the great state of New Hanover. We are here in the Hanover. Ah, we are here in the Hanover, right north of Emerald Station. So yeah, Crips is locked up. Let me let me allocate my gear. I haven't had anybody like, you know, when you got a lot of gear sitting around, like people will come. Not people, but NPCs will come. And I started like, actually camp. playing this game oh. yesterday. I haven't come and raid my camp yet. This is fucking weird. All oh, right, on. I hope you are enjoying it. Right, we got big game. Taste that stew, melt in your mouth. Melt in your mouth. Taste that stew, it melts in your mouth. Smokey over there, just just grazing, just grazing off in the distance. Wake Jeez. up with Warpath, a Jeep warm cup me. of coffee, some fun laps here at 7 a.m. Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. I'm not very good, W the controllers, the characters were not impressed, W how slow I moved, lol. Kind of an OG number there, 647. What's up and model? How you doing, dog? They're hanging out, dog. Oh yeah. yeah. 
do our hunting. Jewel day hunting. Looks like jewel day hunting. Okay then. Alright, let's start this party off, right? Uh, let me put this in there, and then we'll put this in there. Donations. If you would like to support my work, drop a super chat or just donate to my channel, please hit the cash app link. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. URL. Skipping the rest. Map. Use this link to maximize your collector role adventures. URL. Shout out to Captain Morgan for the 150 drop, Hell face yeah. red heart shape. My boy Captain Morgan, dropping that 150 spot. Much love, dog. Alright. To the sugar shack we go, baby. Let's see here. Let me whip this out. You got anything around here? A little jingle jangle? Nope. No jingle jangle around here? Nope. Nope. It keeps putting on a fucking bandana. Why does it keep putting on a goddamn bandana? I'm not doing the bandana. Well, I'll tell you what. What'd it say? Play with the band, right? Try to play with the band. Play with the band for two mics. Sold. And then three bootleggers. That'll be easy, dude. Bootleggers is cool. Should probably get a bootlegger up while we're playing ah, with the band. Bonjour. You've been away on some Let me get up on the ones and twos real quick. I don't have cash app or Venmo. MOG pensive face. Ah, I'm don't sorry. even trip, dude. Don't even trip. Nah, I ain't asking for shit. I'm just saying. People people ask me. You know what I mean? So, it's all good, dude. I don't expect shit from nobody. But don't even trip, G. Just you being here is all I need, girl. Shit. Uh-huh. Break it down now. In the back saying, yes, I finally get to get down on the get down. Okay, hope y'all like this one. <laughs> we sure do. I'm just a whistling fool. Just a whistling fool. Just a whistling Boy, that man can wish it. Hit the like goal today and smash the like button. Today's light goal is 10. Let's try to hit today's light goal. Today's light goal is 10. I said I said it kind of high today. Double digits today. We were, we've been hitting double digits smash lately. So I was like, you know what? Let, let's Never set it kind of high. Let's like set it kind of high today. We'll set it to 10. If we don't hit it. We don't hit it. It's all good. We'll set we'll set it kind of high today. Come up in here, smash that knife, dog! Smash it! Smash it three times! Four times! Sub. So. 
Thank you for giving this month's sub goal of 670. You are wrong. See you in April for 675. For some reason, I just like the way it hits with the Mausers. Keep my D card. There you are. Hey, what's up, Miss Maggie? Um, let me get a bootlegger. So, so there's two ways to get ahead in this business. How many? One, raise the quality of your product. And or two, you have the humor lower though. The quality of the link. competition. That's where it's at, in my opinion. Number two, it's, you gotta have. I gotta have it. Ingenuity. That's like the only quality I do got in life is just my senses of humor. I think needs to learn just how precarious this business can be. Precarious. Be as ingenious as you want. Be as ingenious. I thought she was going to say indigenous. I was about to be like, hell yeah, Maggie, I'm about to be indigenous all up in that ass. I'm about to show these fools how indigenous I am. Where we going? Where we going? Where we at? Where we going? Where we going? Where we at? Where we going? Oh, okay, we're going up there. Oh, goody, 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 drops. Mister, are you okay? Whoa, 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 whoa! DTA, what is up? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good to go. Good to go. Are you okay, Mister? Hey, hey, Mister. You all right? You okay, mister? You okay, mister? You all right? Damn, they gave me... What the fuck? Is somebody there already? Dude, is somebody there already? Maybe I should have took the freeway. I think somebody may be there already. Yeah, somebody's there. Oh, oh, going wide, going wide. Wake up with Warpath, a warm cup of coffee, some fun laps here at 7 a.m. Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. Another games or just Red Dead? Uh, I mostly just play Red Dead. I am. I, I just finished uh, The Last of Us. 
Um, I'm going to be getting the last of those two here real soon. And um, probably be getting Battlefield. If it's on sale when I get home from the doctors today, I'm probably going to get it. Battlefield. Didn't work out like how I wanted, but fuck it. 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 We gotta we gotta loot these cocksuckers anyways. Maybe they'll have something on them. kind of like on a crazy budget so I can't really just go get like the new games if I did then I'd be playing um, I'd be playing I'd be playing hell Di divers daily on a ps5 because that's that's about where I'm at there's a jingle jangle here too none of these dudes got anything on them not a damn thing. Nope. I say nope the dope and of the drugs. Oh, won't let me through. Won't let me through. You gotta be kidding me. It let me squeeze in, but it won't let me squeeze out. There we go. Right here on the window sill. Oh, the window sill. Django inside though nope. sounds like it's in here 
It sounds like it's in here. Yes. That is some jewelry. Ah, some jewelry. Ah, yes. So there's necklace. I think I'll take that gun oil that's in here too. Yeah, see? Oh, but let me. Meh. Let's close everything up. That way the next player that comes in thinks they have the same experience. They're like, oh, nobody was here. It's all new to me. All right, Smoke, let's get the fuck out of here. I botched this whole mission up. MOT rolling on the floor laughing. MOT rolling on the floor laughing. All right, look at that. Perfect timing. Perfecto timiosos. Buddy, I know you like the Powerball. Ooh, double whammers on the Powerball. Survivor, what's up, pimpin'? Yep, another day, another dime, another dollar in the old Red Dead Online. Boy, I tell you what. Another grind on the Red Dead Online. Oh, here we go again on my own. I'm going down the Drifter, I was born to rock alone. All right, let's roll. Kick in the turbo. I'm pushing about six pounds of boost on this sucker right here. I got that turbo turned up about six pounds of boost. I don't even have the app pulled up in front of me, even though I put it in the chat. I should pull it up. I figure we're gonna lock in the fucking six things somewhere along the line. Hey Warpath, do you love or hate LA? Uh, okay, so I've been asked this before. I love LA because it's basically a place like I've, I've grown up and stuff, you know, I have a lot of attachment to the place. I love my hockey team from LA, but as far as what it's become and what it is now, uh, it's a shithole. So um, I'm, I'm kind of like... I'm ashamed to be a Californian. I'm ashamed to be in California. Uh, I love the state. I love like being here as far as being able to do like all the activities that I could do. Like I could get, you know, I can go, I can go like a 45 minutes to an hour in any direction and I could be at the beach or I could be at the top of a mountain snowboarding. You know what I mean? Or I could be at a lake or a river fishing. Or, you know, I could be at a motherfucking amusement park or a Disneyland or something. You know what I'm saying? That's the one good thing that California has is that, you know, a lot of other places don't. And that's a shame because the people that run this state are fucking it up and running it into the ground something fierce. That's why I love when I work down in Orange County. I like being down there. Because the people that run Orange County, they run it kind of like how California should be, should look, and should act. For the most part, the areas that I go down in Orange County anyways. Um, so, I, I like I like Orange County. Wake up with Warpath, a warm cup of coffee, some fun laughs here at 7am. 
Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. It's just crime right now. I wish I will visit Ella someday. Crime right now, man, and homeless, the trash, um, the drugs. It's just bad. I won't even go, like, I have had opportunities to go to Kings games. You know, the professional hockey team, the Kings. I won't go to games particularly because of where the game is at, where the arena is at. I won't go there because of the arena. I won't go there because um, sometimes the lights, I have an eye condition. The lights fuck with my eyes. But for the most part, I just don't want to go to L.A. because of where it's at and the area uh, surrounding the spot. It's just bad. It just sucks down there. So if it wasn't for all that, man, L.A. would be awesome. I love going to the beach and stuff. I love hanging out down there, but... I don't know, man. I have finished this batch. I'm kind of looking forward to, when you like to moving we'll out of the state again. Like I said before, like I lived in Vegas for 22 years, 22, 23 years. In Vegas, it's similar to LA as far as like the things you can do and you know the activities because it's 24 hours, you know. But for the most part, man, it's just a ah, crime. I was wondering when you were going to get here. This is a good fuck, batch, fuck of shit course. Up. They are all good batches, but this one is superior, eh? I have found a buyer who will appreciate it. And most important, I lived in Vegas they will pay for seven. it too. Oh, no way, really? Now, all you have to do is to be attentif, eh? So I originally Senor moved there in 98. And I lived there off and on until... You ever been to Figueroa Street? Figueroa? Yeah, I've been down Figueroa. I'm talking about where the Strawberry Showgirls are. I mean, if you're looking to catch a case of something, that's that's the street you want to go down. That's for sure. That's what it's famous for. Like 60 years of prostitution and shit. Not a good place, that's for sure. <laughs> Funny story. MOG Happy Tears. Did you do something there or just took a glimpse and moved on? Oh, no, no. I, I never mess around with, with hookers, dude. Never in my life. I don't mess around with like prostitutes or anything like that. Um, there's a club down that way though. And one night, me, my homie, my cousin, her boyfriend, her friend, and her friend's boyfriend, we went down to the club. And they didn't allow me and my homie in because they said that our clothes were too baggy. And we just kind of laughed. But me and my homie, we, we didn't want to take away from, you know, my cousin and her friends and shit. So me and my homie were just like, we'll just hang out and wait for you guys to get your club on. You know, knowing that it was going to be a few hours. So him and I just kind of like mobbed around and like walked around town and shit. Yeah, it was right around the corner from like Figueroa and shit. So yeah, we saw we we saw from afar all the activities that were going down, and we had these undercover cops pull us over. Well, they didn't pull us over. We weren't in a car. We were just kind of sitting on the, on, the, on this little brick wall. And the cops were like, "What are y'all doing?" And we were like, "Uh, they wouldn't let us in the club because our clothes were baggy, this and that." They hemmed us up real quick. They were like, you know, got our ID. Searched us and shit, and made sure we we weren't like you know up to no shenanigans and shit. And the cops were like, you know, this isn't a good area for two young dudes like you be out. This is a pretty bad neighborhood right now. And I was like, yeah, we've been observing. It doesn't look like a place that you know normally we would we would hang out and shit. 
and they were like, well, you know, I just wanted to bring it to your attention and shit. So we were like, oh, okay. And my homie, <laughs> he was, uh, he was, he was kind of a weird cat, you know what I mean? Like, this is back in, like, when the rave scene was just popping off. Like, raves were just, uh, just starting to be a thing. And my homie, dude, he, he had this, uh, Transformer watch. It's an old school Transformer watch. You know, it was like a digital watch, but you could take it off and it would transform into a robot and shit, you know? And, uh, this pimp had two hoes with him. And... They were walking past us, and the pimp goes, it was a ploy. The pimp goes, um, hey, man, you know what time it is? And I knew exactly what he was doing. I knew exactly what they were trying to see what kind of shit that we had on us so they could rob us. You know what I mean? And my homie fucking, just no clue to the world. No fucking clue. He pulls out his arm because, you know, we're wearing a long sleeve. He pulls out this watch. It's the Transformer watch. And he tells the homie at the time. Time. Homie goes, yo, is that a Transformer watch? Dude, they were tripping out. At first they were bagging on us and shit, but the pimp was fucking tripping out so hard that homie had a Transformer watch. That he was just like, man, this is funny, dude. So they hung out with us for a couple minutes. And then when they saw the cops roll by again, they left. And when they, they walked off, the cops came back and they were like, you guys weren't planning on getting no prostitutes or anything, were you? And we were like, nah, man, we were just talking to them. They asked us for the time. The cops started laughing. They were like, you guys were about to get robbed. <laughs> and we were like, oh, shit. You know what, man? Maybe it's best we just we just go back to the fucking car. And we just hang out in the fucking car. So that's what we did. You just bored? You want to make an enemy? Pretty funny. Like my homie had no clue. He was so far out of his element. He had no idea. I knew what was going on. I was like, yo, we need to get the fuck up out of here. There was demons everywhere, yo. You could just see it. <laughs> and then my cousin and her friends, they come out of the club and they're like, what have y'all been up to? La 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 They're all drunk and fucking happy-go-lucky and shit. I was just like, yo, y'all don't even know. Alright, so nothing's up here. Valentine's so fucking nasty, my horse looking like an Appaloosa and shit. Let me go by the hotel. There's usually something in the hotel. Like I said, I don't have I don't have my app pulled up on my phone in front of me. I should just pull it up. Yeah, there's something. How are you? There. No complaints from me. Good morning to you. I can feel it! Oh my god! Fuck off! Here, let me pull it up and see if there's anything else in here. And I'll put it in the you chat. You gotta have that one street smart friend, MOG cool smile, and a book smart friend in the group. Well, that, that's the thing, too. This motherfucker wasn't even book smart. He was just stupid. He was just stupid. He's just one of those dudes that, you know. Use this link to maximize your collector role adventures. URL. He's one of those. He's one of those dudes that when we would go to raves and whatnot, he'd get like a uh, laughing gas balloon. You know what I mean? Wake up with Warpath, a warm cup of coffee, some fun laughs here at 7 a.m. Avocado he, time every Monday through Saturday. He would overdo it. You know what I'm saying? Like he wouldn't he wouldn't do it to where it'd be like, oh okay, I'm starting to feel it. I better lay off and just feel the effects and just, you know, do the thing and you know, just do it vigorously, you know, just like da la 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 here and there. He would take like a whole balloon to the dome, like pass out, go out real hard.
hit his head on something or, you know, fucking go face first into the ground. They expect us to, like, pick up the slack. He was kind of, he was kind of a fucking idiot like that. You know what I mean? Like, everywhere we went, dude, it was like we had to keep an eye on him. He was one of them kind of dudes. Yeah, like, so, you know, like I used to tell you guys, like, we would, we would, um, we would take LSD once a week and go to Magic Mountain and ride the rides and stuff, right? But by the end of the night, you know, it's time to come down, you know, like, relax, go home, get something to eat, try to go to bed, you know, fight it off, wake up the next morning, you know, try to, like, just recuperate and shit. This type of dude, he would... He would try to prolong the effects and just keep it going and going, go drinking orange juice constantly throughout the night. Everybody's trying to relax and chill, and, and you know he's over there fucking banging on shit. And like, he's just one—he was just one of them kind of people, you know what I mean? Fucking idiot. I wouldn't pick a frost ever. You can't trust them. Imagine if she had knife to harm you, or even worse, bite your PP. The one that wonders <laughs> why no one calls him LOL. Well, that dude, he ended up... So that kid, I, I feel bad for him now. I, I, I shouldn't call him a fucking idiot and stuff, because that's what he was. A good saying, huh? After a while... I feel bad for him because he so did. We create, he ended up losing his mom. She had like a drug overdose, and she had to, uh, or he had Yo, to. Yo, salute WP. Yo, what up, shots? He had to uh, move in with his grandparents, and they were just kind of over it, you know. And he, his <laughs> life just kind of went downhill after that. Punch out. Um. I think the next time I seen him, he was uh, homeless, living behind a gro on an abandoned grocery store. Yes, this he would made work the docking ramp nicely. area like his little home. I felt really bad for him. Uh, I went up to him and I recognized him and stuff, but he didn't oh, geez, recognize now me. I feel like a dick. No, nah, no, nah, it's cool. You know, like so. Look, I look at it like this. We choose the paths that we walk down. I I was down that same path too, you know. I walked down ne that same path. Pas but I didn't walk down that path where I gave up and I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to let these things rule my life and let them drag me down even further. And some people, they let that happen to them. So, you know, I can't, I can't say one thing or another about the guy other than I hope he's okay now and, you know, that he moved on. But... I know back when we were young, I have a list of new patrons. He was a for fucking you. idiot. So, <laughs> that's, and that's all I really can say about it. But yeah, good old Figueroa. Oh shit, that's right. We had to start the timer over again, huh? Well, I can do this one. So that'll be three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool, yeah, it'll be eight, nine. Let's go out here. Smash that like. Goodbye. Hit that sub box. Actually, Never miss you know any what? of my content drops here on Warpath TV. Let me do this real quick. Give me one second. This espresso just went right through me. Give me one second. I have to make it that pipis.
I am yours, the commander. Prenez votre temps. Dude. Fucking goddamn fucking not my shorts. Okay, there we go. So, oh yeah. Go on, uh, give me a challenge. Let me fix this here. All right, cool. I wanted to tell you guys the shit I saw last night. So I was fucking going. Um, sometimes I go down rabbit holes when I'm watching shit on TV or YouTube and whatnot. Excuse me. Prices <coughs> on the ingredients for the mash. I went down this rabbit hole last night on YouTube and I came across this video where this 19 year old Hello. kid. Yo, Cookie! How you doing? Welcome to the show over here. Thanks for stopping by. So, this 19 year old kid. Apparently, he like loses control of his car or whatever. He had, like, had it parked and it goes into the Colorado River, right? the cops come and he plays it off to where he's like oh I'm a stupid teenage kid I don't know what I'm doing and I lost control of the car and it went in the river can we get it out so the cops are like oh he's just a stupid teenage kid blah 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 lo and behold there's a fucking story behind everything that happened right dude this fucking kid's a psychopath he ended up fucking killing some homeless dude and he hacked him up Got all kinds of pieces of him and then tried to hide the dude in the river. Alright, dude, I'm watching this story and I'm like blown away. I'm blown away at the fact that not only the, the kid was 19 and he did this to a dude. I'm blown away at the fact that he admitted to everything the way he did and he was like proud of it. When the cops originally come up to this dude, and they ask him, like, you know, you know why we're here, the kid just is, like, nonchalantly, yeah, it's because uh, my parents found a head and some hands in my closet. Just nonchalantly, just like, yeah, 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 fuck, my parents called you guys because they found a human head and some hands in my closet. What the fuck? Even the cop was like, uh, uh, uh okay, uh, y you don't mind, we're gonna put you in the car over here. So the first thing when I'm watching this Ryan's story last night. Ryan's in our new warpath, you're worth over two zero zero dollars. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks, Kayla's. We somewhere something. So the first thing it reminds me of is, you know, in Red Dead Redemption 2, the storyline, there's the axe murderer, right? The dude that you have to find all the clues, and then you go into that little burned down house, you go down to the cabin, and... You throw the fucking head at the guy before he kills you, right? That's what this kid reminds me of. He reminds me of that guy, but it's a kid. The the letters, everything. Cause you know the the letters the when you read the letters of the axe murderer when you fucking get him in jail and all that, you know the the, the dude's mom writes him a letter like, Oh, you know, you're so distant and this and that. Dude, this kid is the same as the axe murderer in the fucking game. This kid's mom is she's a she's a mess. She is hysterically a mess. She is just a mess. The dad has no clue what's going on. He's like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I own a business. This is just gonna fuck my family up. We're not gonna be able to have kids no more. We're not gonna be able to do anything. I'm not gonna have my business no more. Um, the mom ran a daycare facility. So she had to call all the parents to come get the kids out of the facility, out of the house. 
before she called the cops to come and investigate that she had found a head and a pair of hands in her kid's room where the little kids are in the daycare. Dude, it was fucking crazy, dude. They pull this kid and, you know, they interrogate him. And he's just, just to the nines, man, just proud of everything he did. He's like, yeah, I just wanted to see how it felt. I tried to hide it. And then he's like, yeah, and he starts naming all these, like, these afflictions that he has. He's like, yeah, I have ADA, DHD, I got uh, DDT, I got ADPPT, I got, you know, he starts naming off wrestling moves and shit. Like, ah, man, it was crazy, dude. Yeah, when the cops first met him, when he first jumped, like, the whole river and the car and the river thing, they were like, hey, can you step out of the car? And he's like, oh, I'm really cold, because he was in his parents' car. So he, he tried to hide the body and the parts of the body and shit in the river. He lost control of the car on the boat ramp. The car fell in the river. He was trying to get the car out of the river, but he was in the river, and he came out. Some people that were like just some some bystanders were driving by and he was like, oh, my car fell in the river and he was like freaking out. So they get him in the car and he's all soaking wet and everything. He's all cold because apparently the water was like, you know, Bro 30, got some degrees. stories. So homeboy gets in the car and then the parents show up. He gets in the parents car and they got the heater on for him and shit. This kid's like a big baby Huey. You know what I mean? Like, he's 19, but mentally, he's got, like, the mentality of, like, a, a fucking eight-year-old and shit. And, um, so the cops are like, oh, okay, you can sit in the car. Had they pulled him out of the car? Because the kid's like, oh, it's cold, and, and, and you know, it's warm in here. I'm just a stupid I teenager. I thought this was this gonna be an insurance scam story, LOL, holy crap. Nah, man, if, if they would have pulled him out of the car, they would have seen, like, he had blood and shit all over his pants and whatnot. Because he was taking the dude that he had hacked up, and he was taking the bones of the dude, and he was breaking them over his, like, leg. Like it was, like, sticks. Like he was, like, breaking sticks over his thigh and shit. Like, <coughs> he was breaking this old man's bones over it so he could get little parts. It was crazy, dude. I couldn't believe what I was hearing and watching. I was like, damn, this is, like, right out of fucking Red Dead. Except, except the dude's not a crazy dude that lives in a burnt down cabin in the middle of the woods. It's a fucking 19 year old kid that lives with his parents. Basically same shit. I couldn't believe it, man. I was like, wow. Something to this kid just nonchalantly. Not given. One fuck. Not one fuck given. Okay, cool. So we got that. We just need to wait for this one. We could probably do another bootlegger. We need to find one more collector bear. We could go see Madame Nazzy. Let me see where she's at on the map skis. Yeah, man. Sometimes I go down some rabbit holes, dude. I used to go on the dark web a lot. I had this chick I used to date. And she had an open uh, computer to where I could just go on any website I wanted and shit. And I used to... I used to find some crazy, nasty, crazy things, dude. Go down some crazy fucking rabbit holes. Uh, Madame Nazar is over here. By old Craig's run. I'm going to try and mark it right where she's at. Boom. Let's see how close I am to that. We'll fast travel to my camp, and then we'll ride straight to her. Yeah, that's one thing you get over here when you come to my channel, dude, is I, I got stories Mike. for days, yo. I got fucking stories for days. Help me hit that like goal today and smash that like button.
I went down a rabbit hole studying MT Everest history lol ended up W books and books on the history. Oh, Mount Everest? <laughs> that, that place is a shit show right now. Mount Everest. The amount of people... Bro and GL and Ghana just sit here for the rest of the stream just for the stories. <laughs> right on, man. Thank you. The amount of people trying to climb that fucking mountain right now is ridiculous. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Oh, we, we could have went that way. Yes, unfortunately, it's turned into a Disneyland for the inexperienced. Dude, it is just, it's so stupid. Everybody and their mom is just like, I'm going to climb Mount Everest. I'm going to fucking climb it. I'm going to fucking climb Mount Everest. Like, bitch, you can't even climb into bed talking about climbing Mount Everest. This shit. Pissed off panda bear though, he had damn rings around his eyes and shit. Anyways. Yeah, I saw I just saw a video on that the other day, um, where they were talking about how Mount Everest is just a complete shit show right now. Feel bad for the Sherpas and guides they risk their lives dealing W idiots. Yeah. Look at the marker's not that far off. Look at that. I was close. I was close. Pretty close. <laughs> what a pure and gentle spirit. Mm, what a gorgeous I do not trust and you. amazing angel you are. God, man. Are so fine. Damn, she fine. All right. What have you found? Um, I'll give you one of these. I admire your self-restraint. Most people this end one? up drinking them. This one. Well done. Yeah, your bellow ruby is elusive. Yeah, we'll give you two of these. Charming but commonplace. Okay, we just need some money, man. Right? Done. But the whole set is worth your while. All right, but it's worth selling these as a set, you know. Quite mundane, but I, I will take it. Charming but commonplace. Horseback kills you. No real kills you, horseback boy. Very well. I pay more for the whole set, you know. I just started the game. Any tips? Quite mundane, uh, but I, I will take yeah, it. Yeah, just try to grind out Smash your dailies. Smash the like. Hit the sub box. And Never miss any of my content drops here on Warpath TV. Just try to grind out your dailies as best you can. Commonplace. Slowly but surely, you'll just start making your money Quite and your gold. Mundane, try but to stay I away from it. buying things that you don't really Charming need right away. Commonplace. A lot of people, they're like, oh, I want to get these claws. I want to get that claws. I need this horse. I Wait, need that horse. Well, the tea leaves Just told stick me with what you got it. right away. Hey. Up with Warpath, yeah. A warm cup of coffee, some fun yeah. laughs here at 7 a.m. Avocado while. time every Monday through Saturday. Just stick with what you got and then grind out what you have. And then slowly but surely, you can start breaking down all these rolls. And then what I do is... I just, every morning I come on, I get online, and I try to get 9 for 9 on the daily rolls. If I can get 9 out of 9 on the daily rolls, not only do you get the 9 uh, gold bonuses for getting the 9 done, but you also get an extra bonus for getting all 9 of those done. 
So when you go nine for nine, here for as long as the running you get your normal bonuses for doing the regular daily, right? So you get the, you know, oh, I got that daily done, I got that daily, so you get the gold for that. But when you go nine for nine, you get an extra gold bonus on top of that. And then the generals are completely different. Once you do these, these are all different too. So if you get them all done, they give you another bonus. But generals, I don't well, really care. Well, it's a little too late for the dawn by random muscle stuff, but do I? <laughs> this land is wide and it people happens. walk it all to come it and happens. see me. Just try to like regulate on the things that you purchase in, me too. until you get to at least level 100. You get to level 90, 100, then you can start spending your money more and more on things that you want to get. Alright. Let's do this. Um, I believe we should be close. We're almost there on that. You should have never crossed me. Do another now, pretty pale skin will never leave that awful town. Let's see Gus. Gus. Um, okay, we'll go to Saint Denis. I started W the main story mode, should I go back and do other instead? I started with the main story mode. You mean like the main storyline with Arthur? Like the main story itself or story mode in online? Yes. Well, I asked two questions there, sweetheart. I don't... If you started just story mode with Arthur, stick with story mode. But I suggest that while you're playing story mode, try to get as many as the challenges w done as you Arthur can. And Dutch. Yeah, okay. Try to get as many as the challenges done as you can. Um, let's go... Oh, yeah, we're going to go to St. Denis so I can sell some shit to Gus. <laughs> First playthrough, you're just kind of getting the mechanics, especially in the first uh, when you're in the snow. Once you move out of the snow and you get to like Horseshoe, I forgot the name of the place, Horseshoe View or wherever the fuck it's called, you start working on like your challenges. Getting this general done to kill the clock on that don't kill an animal for 24 hours. Game clock here. Thank you, MOG smiling eyes. All day, every day, I got you. Alright, let, let me park my little my little my little Ford truck right here, my Ford Chevy Honda Toyota. Good evening, mister. Hello, how are you? Well, I'm not fortunate to be graced by such an upstanding man. What's up, Gus of Luffy? Good, you calm down now? I didn't know I was mad. Do we have to sell items or is it just creatures? Are you trying to get a rise out of me? Whoa, whoa Evening buddy. to you. Okay, so it's just items. I've been good, me? Look, just do what you want. I'm not gonna. Don't get okay, mad. that's better. Any more trouble and you're out of here. Easy, bud. Easy. So, let's do... Let's do that. Do one of those. All right, what have you got? Um, let's see. Borta, it there, Borta. Get rid of that muskrat. And I'll give you all three of these fucking hearts that I don't need. You know what? Here's the claw. I'm gonna keep that cooler thing. 
Dutch okay. was yelling at me too yesterday. LOL, too slow. People say a criminal escaped from jail. Where are our town tied up? Did a rope they capture him? Hey, lady. It's happened before, and it will Don't step on again. the kitty. <laughs> that isn't how we behave around here. Sure is. Kitty. Good luck out there. Later, bud. Hey, Quill. Easy there. I'm following the kitty. Since <coughs> hope. Neho. Where are you going, Mr. Kitty? What are you up to? There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Oh, kitty in the corner. Are you just going to chill? Perfect. Can you give me a look, kitty? Kitty! Kitty! <laughs> Just want to, like, kind of look this way. Can you look this way, bud? Come on, just, just give me a quick little glance. Get out of here. Whoa! Excuse me? Damn fool, you look like Beetlejuice and shit. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! Motherfucker just appears and shit. You Excuse know where you're me? going? That guy coming through with a bounty. Alrighty then. We already did those three assholes. Jasper! Hurries! Hurries! Wanted for his kidnapping and his torture of seven lawmen, or several, not seven, it's several, a lawman and a government agent. He Ruiz claims to recognize no authority or government. He thinks he's a sovereign citizen is what he thinks he is, you know what I mean? He's often in the company of dangerous killers. A reward is to those to put it into his serious ways. Polale. Let's go get him. Up to a big pile of horseshit. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, no as horse? Okay, no as horse. It's no horse. Orale, it's no horse! No old horse. Thank you. 
dead. Por favor. Okay. What I give for a horse as fine as that. Why is he? There we go. Okay. I was like, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> Oh, it's so graceful, my horse. When he trots like that, it's so graceful. Close, right? It's that one spot. Where the fuck out here? Yo, it's that one spot. Where the fuck out here? I see them. Yeah, I see them. It's about to go down. Boom. My proper, my proper killer outfit. Daddy got some work to do. Damage. Oh, 
fuck? I don't have nothing? Okay. Gets lassoed from horseback. Okay. You can win, you bastard. This is where your life comes to an end. Hey, beat you, way. Oh, shit. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. There we go. So you know what? Hold on a second. Let me do this. Cause these fools are trying to. There we go. So they can't follow us. Come here, you fucking piece of shit. Get these damn uh, if you don't cooperate, I'm gonna fuck just pull over. You're gonna pop a cap in your fucking ass. Alright? Alright. We out of here. Vanish, motherfucker. Ninja vanish. Hijo de la chingada. Orale, jue. Mierda. Mierda. Si. Es tu, es tu, así. Es tu. Cut me free, and I might not kill you. Chale, jue. Chale. It's not gonna happen, I say. Yo, 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 good morning, host and chat. Yo, little brother stacked stuff in the keys ass. He's out the reed out. I just stick in this peachy pendejo to the fucking beat that horse. On the charges of being a pendejo. Chale, jue, chale, no rope up you. Just going in. Hey, you're lucky I'm taking you in alive. I say, shut the fuck up. Usually I kill my motherfucking bounties. But because, because you're a fucking... I don't know why. I don't know. There's just some reason I want to keep you alive. Hey, girl. Look at you Best looking all get involved. good in your dress, girl. Looking all fancy and fine. Mm-hmm. Pinche imbecile! You shut up. Have some manners around this beautiful woman right here. This young southern flower. This can't be happening again! Now watch out. There's a lot of horse shit in the road now. Mm -hmm. See you later, girl.
Excuse me, fuck why. All right then. I mind my own affairs, and that's all. And who do we have here? Got a cold cell. Who we have here? Here's your due. And here's your damn. Here's your damn. Fair to middle. That's what I want to hear. Eight likes. We're two away from today's goal. If we could hit ten, if we could hit ten likes today, I would be forever grateful to you all. Thank you so much. Like. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, let's see what we got now. We got three for three on the net. We only need one more to get the daily done. No me, come on. Stack stuff good morning, emoji smiling eyes. Help me hit that like goal today and smash that like button. Hold up. More than one bounty target at once. Now we could do that one, or we could keep doing bootlegger missions. It's up to you. We do 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 all that. You know what? I don't want to get down on that. So, uh, I don't know. We could do this. I feel like. I feel like I could, I could, I could do three. I could three, I could three him up. I could three him up. I could do two more on the horseback. Kill everybody. Put them all in a meat wagon. What do you all think? Swaggering. <laughs> I gotta read this. Hmm, yeah, see? Wade and Mitchell Townsend, hmm, the swaggering Townsend brothers, hmm, known to be brigands and fools, have added arson and larceny to their list of misdeeds. Hmm, yeah, see? Hmm. Pursue with extreme caution. Mah, mah, mah. Gotta rope the two on the horseback real quick and then zigzag to the bar on out. Oh, Good man. morning, Genie. These dudes are gonna be in the barn. I don't know if I'll be able to get them on the horseback. Unless they try to escape. They're gonna be in the barn. Mira, they finna be in the barn. Alright, Pegasus. Good boy. Focus in the queue. I think that one's gonna take me right to the motherfucking barn. Yepers. Oh wait, no. No, no. That one's not taking me to the barn. This one is taking me to the stable. G 
jingle jangle in here too. Nice. Oh, it's the card. It's in the little box there. Let me get it. Ten of Pentacles. Clue, man. Get a fucking clue, man. Good boy. Skirt. Uh, focus on the cue and number T. gonna fucking pop them off. They're not over here. Fellas, what the hell is that? You guys want to run? Shit, wanna there run? they are. You guys wanna run? Hey, jackass, you need you to leave. Run? You gonna run? Get gone, you're gonna, or you're gonna get shot. You gonna run? <laughs> you're dead. Oh, see your crap. Say hello to Jesus for me. Close in. Oh, damn it all. Oh. <laughs> Oh, let me get that one. Come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? Come on! There we go. Ah, yeah, we're good. Ah, yeah, we're good. We're good now. Just want to get that daily done. Not for nine, baby. Not for nine. Pressing the buttons, the motherfucking buttons won't work. Alright, cool. Holy shit! That's what you get. Just trying to lure them outside. Whoa. Shoot my hat off, motherfucker. God damn. Yeah, that's what happens. Oh, come on. Give me a fucking break. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Throw. Throw. Is 
Things are getting wilder by the minute, boy. I'll tell you what. Boy, boy I'll tell you what. Get there wilder by the minute. Damn it, Bobby. Open. Throw. Stow. Now, where the fuck is my hat at? Did it get shot off out here? Side, huh? Up oh, there it is. Pick up my hat. Ah, now let's take these two fucking twat waffles in. The old meat wagon. Hi ho, Simba. Tally ho, tally ho. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Nothing can stop me now! Ha Shooting tax. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Good old free aim. Messy job. Messy You'll job. You'll get your reward as soon as they're laying out back. <laughs> laying out back. All right. Should be nine for nine. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm in big trouble. Uh -oh. Please. He was just sitting there. Exit stage left. Right? I didn't mean to. He's just fucking sitting there. That 
That was my bad. Sorry. Alright. So, 9 for 9 is done. Yeah, buddy. 9 for 9. Boom, bang, bing. So, as generals, we need badgers, they must grass. Jump from another horse. And visit the four mercer. So, we will go to the Fort Mercer. Is uh, I believe it's Armadillo. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for the homies. They fought first there. Mm. Oh, good place for muskrats and shit, too. It's like OP. Just getting it in, getting it in, getting these generals done. stuff going on today got doctors going on today got some stuff going on in the yard and uh, a little STG reunion later tonight for dinner well, anyway. should be pretty cool should be pretty cool man sub map Thank you for hitting this month's sub goal of 670. You all rock. See you in April for 675. Use this link to maximize your collector role Hello. adventures. URL. Like. Help me hit that like goal today and smash that like button. Donations. If you would like to support my work, drop a super chat or just donate to my channel please hit the cash app link. URL. Wake up with Warpath, a warm cup of coffee, some fun laughs here at 7 a.m. Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. <gasps> Figure I get all my little my little messages in when we got some downtime. Give me a little if I got it in the cinemaniacs, give me a little time to write on the keyboard. <laughs> Sir, we'll get us a couple of badgers, a couple of muskies. Um, it's saying that there's a, a, a challenge coming up, but I don't know. It's not saying what it is. It says, hold on, I'll tell you exactly what it says. It says fucking tell you. Hit. Oh, wildlife photography. Wildlife photography in three minutes.
Badgers and muskrats. There's only one place that comes to mind. That's the res. Give me time to hit this bowl. Smoking a bowl. Muskrats, I know, are along the shoreline. There's a fucking plethora of them. Sending positive vibes on your day. Hey, thank you, Jeannie. Fucking dirty little rats. Where are they, dude? Fucking places usually full of them around here. That happened to me yesterday, too, I think. I was looking for muskrats because they got those scent glands and I need them for the tracking arrows. Stop. White tailed deer. going left and you keep going straight dude you went right to it i'm pulling to the left i'm pulling to the right and oh my god dude do i have to get a new horse already fuck piss me off all right badgers muskrats that's what we're looking for All up in here. Keep hearing fucking chipmunks. No badgers or muskrats. This 
dude's probably doing this photography thing. Smokey's been having a difficult few days, M.O.G. woozy face. Oh, he got me! Crips is a fucking dead shot, dude. He's, he's good at it. Oh no. I was trying to test the theory. It didn't work out. Serpent Safari? Wake up with Warpath, a warm cup of coffee, some fun laughs here at 7 a.m. Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. MOG waving hand, medium skin tone, MOG call me hand, medium skin tone, hey, MOG bro. green hard. How you doing, bro? How you doing? Yo Cardozo, MOG oncoming fist. That was for you, Stax. I did that for you. Make me proud, Warpath. <laughs> Where can I go? It's got those fuckers. I'm down there once. We can go look. That sucks they don't have the fishing tournaments no more at, at 915 no more, man. Alright. Just gonna head south towards this little spot.
Yeah, I'm gonna go there. So majestic. Oh, he turned his back on me. Damn. Gotta be these motherfuckers right here with the fucking beavers and shit. Who's that? Who's that? Muskrat. Someone kill the horse over there? So we just need two and two, right? Which is good. I fucking hate muskrat. I guess we'll just chicken hawk the fucking perimeter here and... Damn, somebody... The prize. Go back the other way. Let me go back the other way. Check it out. Took 
took care of it. Except for the fact that it was dead. Of course. Other than that. Is there any on this side? No. Let us look over here and see if there is any muskrat. Y'all ever seen a muskrat? There's some of the ugliest motherfuckers. <laughs> In Oregon, they got these, uh, like river rat, muskrat infestations. It's a fucking bad problem. And, um, I, I moved up there for a few months. That's just. I don't know, man. At that time of my life, I was just a fucking idiot. Uh, I went up there on a whim with one of my buddies. Uh, he got kicked out of his house. He fucking ended up stealing his car. Like, his dad took the keys away, but he had a spare key made. Because he had a feeling his dad was going to kick him out and whatnot. So he had a spare key made, and in the middle of the night, he stole the car, came over grabbed me we drove to Oregon to his mom's um, we we're doing like a fucking like 90 to 100 miles an hour the whole way tweaked out of our minds and shit fucking idiots you know just just being stupid <coughs> anyways long story short uh, fucking oh ah! If it was one rock and you act like <laughs> you fell down a mountain. Anyways. Uh, I was looking for like side work. I couldn't really get work out there. So there's this dude and he was hiring. It was like five bucks a head. And what you do was he would give you like this uh, 22 rifle. You get in the boat with him. And all through the night you would just float around and you would just fucking pop caps into these giant fucking like muskrat river rat looking motherfuckers and I ended up doing it for like three four nights and it just I couldn't do it because it was cold and kind of sucked this dude's out here all by himself just fishing just just out here all by himself just fishing Anyways, yeah, it was crazy, dude. Those motherfuckers are huge. Those, like, muskrat, those river rats, whatever the fuck they are. They're, they're huge. They're ugly. They look like, if you ever seen the movie The Princess Bride, that's the best way I could describe them. Is they look like those fucking rats and shit from The Princess Bride. We just need badgers. Badgers. We don't need no stinking badgers. That's one. The shitty one, but fuck it. We got two done.
American Badgers. Let's see. Location, location, location. I look location. Wait. Okay. So whole whole area here. Location. Back to strawberry. So basically, right outside, um, these motherfuckers. <laughs> Don't you know I'm part wolf, bitch? should be full of fucking badges. It's all a matter of trying to find us sticky badges. Right. Okay, so I need to go like a little north. Go down and then I'll hit the left. Badgers have that raspy fucking <laughs> grouchy old man sound. crazy because you know the like muskrats you'll be walking around and the muskrats will fucking roll up and bite you bro tomorrow i'm gonna cram for my mid exam like never before what are you studying anyways muskrats and shit will bite the shit out of you but like things like badgers and fucking shit won't get you it's weird what are you studying though right there. Raccoon? You oh, sorry I am late AF LOL I got some Zaza and chillin' now. MOG oh, sign of the talent? horns, light skin tone, MOG cool smile, MOG purple heart. Cardio pulmonary module. Oh shit, you're gonna be a uh You're gonna be a heart doctor.
Well, if raccoons were on the list, we'd be in business right now. But raccoons aren't on the list, so... Yeah, man. That's, uh... Wish me luck with that. Oh, dude. The more than luck, I wish you all the best. And please, please try your best to pass that, dude. We need all the best doctors and people that we can get right now. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, no, that's a... Yeah, I really wish you the most, man. Like, please. I hope you do your best. For real. May the force be with you. What are muskrats? Muskrats are just like big river rats. They just kind of hang out by the river. Kind of like, uh, the best way I could describe them would be like an emaciated beaver without a fucking cool tail. So we got the muskrats. We're just looking for uh, badgers. American badgers. Warrock Bleach has sent you an invite. Sorry, buddy. I'm, uh... Wake up with Warpath, a warm cup of coffee, some fun laps here at 7 a.m. Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. Dude, it's crazy. It's telling me. A beaver with a rat tail. Perfect description. This is the spot to be. Yeah, it's basically what it is. It's an emaciated fucking rat or a beaver. Kid, sorry, buddy. Shout out. To whoa, 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 whoa. Path of War, MOG flexed biceps. Roasty. <laughs> Fucking possum. I will cross paths with the bloody badger, I will! Who's that? Fucking skunk! The other day I couldn't find a skunk to save my life. They were like, hey, hunt a skunk. I was like, okay, I'll hunt a skunk. Where else should I find a skunk? They're all over the place. No, they're not! You can't find one, because they're not anywhere to be found. Today. There's like four billion skunks. Now today's menu is badger. American badger. I'm in badger territory and I can't find any fucking badger. It did say night time though. It did say night time. The train. Without any premium to pay, see on my page how to do it. What 
the hell? What? Was that a pin? A pin? A pin? Uh, why did I bend it? And what? Sorry, Pippin. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Honestly, I don't. I made a video too. How to get the horse, Misery's Fox Trotter, free. Oh, right on. For uh, story mode. Do you know that the possums yeah. in this game play dead when you approach them, just like how they behave in real life? Oh yeah, for sure. Do they have headdresses for Native American characters? No, not in this game. They only have certain hats too with feathers on them, so... That is so crazy. Emoji man face falling. Medium light skin tone. Emoji man face falling. Medium light skin tone. Emoji man face falling. Medium light skin tone. Smash the like. Hit the sub box. Never miss any of my content drops here on Warpath TV. Howdy. Nice to see you. What's up, buddy? Let me see if there's another hot spot. There's got to be another hot spot. Awesome. Thanks for the fucking bar in the middle of the face, bud. Appreciate it. You from around? We get folks oh, low. Oh, that, okay. <laughs> Fucking Samsonite. I was way off. I gotta go here. Bah. 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 That's <laughs> fucking Badger Alley, yo. According to this guy. Even though I really shouldn't even be fucking watching other peeps, I should know by heart. But hey, I got brain damage, man. Come on. I have brain parts every single day. Then you're high like a every day. So we must go as the crow flies. Aurora Basin. That is where the Badgers like to play. The Badgers. Not from Wisconsin either. That's another thing too um, for you new players. When you're running, it's also for story mode. You're, when you're running on your horse, See your horse's stamina, the lightning bolt. It gets, uh, whoa, what was that? 
it gets lower and lower, you can boost it by clicking down on the left stick. Oh, it's a rabbit. It's good for gaming. So while you're running on your horse and his stamina is going low, you just click down on the left stick while you're steering and whatnot, and he'll get a boost of your stamina. But you can only do it every like 15 seconds. Stamina's going, his stamina's going, his stamina's I thought the badger going. only dwells in Africa. That's the African badger. There's an American badger too. Watch out, this is fucking grizzly bear territory too. Which is kind of funny because badgers actually think there are grizzly bears. They're like, yeah, I'm a grizzly bear. No, you're a badger. No, I'm a grizzly bear. No, buddy, you're a badger. Nah, -uh. Chrissy Bear. this badger where'd you go oh there he goes wait where'd you go shit I fucking lost them Fox? Is this Foxy Loxy? Did you watch Saw X? Nah, I, I, I'm, I don't know, man. I, I'm just... It's weird. I just talked about watching that thing about dude hacking up people on, but I, I'm not into movies about people hacking up people. that little bastard go dude I was hot on his heels elk deer cow moo cow deer deer damn it dude I was too close for missiles I went to switch the guns and he fucking blew right past me That's a fucking big bear. Yeah, that's a grizzly. I don't want no part of that. Jackrabbit. Fuck, dude, I had him. I had him in my sights, dude.
kinds of wascally wabbits. Oh, fuck! Hurry, quick, get on the rock, get on the rock, get on the rock, get on the rock, get on the rock! It's not about hacking, it's about the killer jigsaw, you know, torture, hello I want to play a game, John Kramer. Oh yeah. Still. That vest is pimp as hell. Oh thank you, thank you very much. I have got to find a motherfucking badger. Pop. Let me pop another one of these. Maybe that'll help. I need a fucking badger. I don't want to leave without getting a couple badgers. I felt like I drugged you guys along. What the fuck did I just kill? Day, I probably would zip it, but I'm per just particularly looking for the badgers. They have a distinct sound, too, when you're near them. They growl and shit. Like a fucking little pin. The fuck is that? weird, this doesn't really look like it came from anywhere. Bear. Sounds like a couple of bears. Bloody badges! Where are they? Damn, I'm all the way down here at Manzanita now. Bear. Exactly. Nope. <laughs> nope. Don't want none of that. Ha ha, what ass up, baby oil? Hey, what's up, bullet?
Dude, I am just starting to get fucking really frustrated. Especially because I had that one in my sights and I let it get away. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, right here. Right here. I heard that motherfucker. I don't care what condition it's in. I just want to skin these bitches. Alright, so there's one. We just need one more. Really? That's the first time I got one of them? What is that? I don't think I've ever heard that before. Oh, is it that bird? What is it? Oh, it's a coastal horned. Oh, no, that's not it. Just the little fucking sounds everything makes, dude. Very distinct. King of the castle! King of the castle! Badgers around here. If you hear that little snarl, let me know. Little shits make a distinct little snarl. trampled right there by uh, an elk or something. Oh, what do we have here? It's a Mysteria. Quite it is Mysteria. Pheasants, ducks, geese. Badger, badger, badger. Give me a badger, give me a badger. Somewhere a badger. Phoenix. 
I know that's what you're trying to say, Theonix. As soon as I find oh, out. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. What is that? What is that? Nope, nope, that's not what I saw. What did I see right here? Oh, maybe it was squirrels. You. King Duck! What is good, Pippin? How you been, man? Hope you're doing good. I'm on the lookout for a bloody, bloody American badger. Very elusive right now, very elusive. Was it WP Survivor Bullet Talon? Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I thought for sure that was a fucking bear. A push got me sleeping. Emoji pensive face. <sighs> that shy is so boring. Emoji folded hands. Emoji crying loudly. Anyways, how you doing, WP? I'm good, man. Same shit, different toilet. Can't complain. Can't complain. Just doing my thing, man. Blessed, happy to be alive. You good? You done fuck playing in there, Smokey? All right. Sweet. That's not what we want to do. That's not what we want to do. Smoke and some perp vibing. Nice. That good, good. Jeez, how far do I got to get away? This cougar off my fucking horse, anyways. Get the old Crip Gang. Get the old Crip Gang! You know, I'm getting quite used to having you around. <laughs> yes, I know these things. Docs are looking good. Excellent. Thank you. Boo -ba -doo, boo -ba -doo, beep. Glad you didn't run across any Skinner's brothers. Oh, that was earlier in the episode. That was much earlier. But, you know, with every beginning, there must be an ending. And with that being said, we are going to end today's episode of Warpath Wednesday. I would like to thank you all for being here and for helping me meet today's light goal, which was 10. We have exceeded such things, which is always a treat. Thank you very much. It would be cool if they made Native American characters have headdresses and tattoos. That'd be dope. I put in a special request to that the from goat, Rockstar MOG myself, goat. but they haven't. 
emoji victory sign. They haven't taken my w request yet. Bro, emoji double exclamation mark. Hopefully emoji they will soon. Head. But, you know, we'll see. But we'll be back tomorrow, 7 a.m. Avocado time. Hopefully I get through the night after today's uh, little doctor's visit. But we'll see what happens. Shout out to everybody that tuned in today. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 7 a.m. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Whatever it is, don't let the man or the woman get you down, as always. Stay fresh, stay funky, stay sexy, stay salty. Stay frosty, my peeps. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Until then, peace.